<laughs> so now we just made it down here uh, uh, into the belly of the Santa Cruz 37. Um, and just a, a nice little touch on things. We got bamboo floorboards, um, which is a, it certainly lightens up the room. But otherwise, it's again, it's a, this is a, this is a racer cruiser. So that's bamboo. Bamboo bulkheads too. Bulkhead. It's a different cut. It's a different grain sure. cut than the decks. Uh -huh. And then this, the trim is teak. So it's teak. And then it has, the, and the, the, the boat comes with two layouts. It comes with a layout without the uh, quarter berth with a little larger. Uh, galley, mm -hmm. so it has the ice box here and a little deeper deck, mm -hmm. and uh, this this is an electric fridge here, mm -hmm. and then a LP uh, stove, and then so then we got another quarter berth so over here, two and quarter both doubles, both the doubles, and a, a nice clean nav station, huh? yeah, pretty pretty standard, nothing stuff. to it. The the boat comes with the uh, stereo system, even has a remote and a cockpit and and. A, VHF, the, the uh, Garmin, and the uh, tactic system. It comes st standard with the tactic system. No, no, no. You okay. put that on. That's, right. This is this is the Annapolis dealer belt. So I got that you. was that was what we put on board. Gotcha. We, we like their maxis and we like their system. Yeah. Um, what about um? What about sales? Um. What, what do you think? Is, uh, what is a suit of sales? Um. Okay. For, we bought. We have. Both for the one design rule and what we bought. There's two jibs. We 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 bought a. A uh, light, medium, and a medium heavy, both 105%. We bought a main and two uh, asymmetricals, which are max perf at 143 square meters. And so is that, wow. So it's a big, big shoe. That's a big guy. Yeah. That's like 1,600 square feet. So, uh, <laughs> that's a lot of, that's a lot of fabric. It's a lot so this get. really should be a, I mean, at least until you can get the one design going, this should be a, a, a real nice handicap boat. I mean, where, where, where is your, is your uh, perf rating going to settle okay, in? Okay, well, we, provisional is six here, so it's going to settle probably at 12 fairly soon. So, you know, based, then, then from there, of course, every, you got to recognize it's hard to, you, you got to really look at perf within each region because right. they all bounce around, but the, the, uh, uh, the, the estimate for, uh, Southern California was 18 for the built. The estimate for the IRC was was 1148, and we actually got the certificate yesterday at 1144. So, what does that put you sort of near? What other kind of boats will be at that IRC? Um, uh, right. Here, we're we're that's a, like a perf of about 12. So in the Chesapeake, that, that well, you guys don't don't really sail IRC in, in Annapolis, do you? In well, the we got it because we we have the IRC championships in November. Oh yeah. So, you so you're going to sail the boat? Yeah. For the, oh good. If we still have it. If you still have it. <laughs> Meaning if we haven't sold it. <laughs> I got Somebody you. else can sail it. You know? I got you. All right. That's what we're in the business to do. All right. Well, so, we've got a, a really nice V berth actually up here. It's something you really don't see a lot in boats that are as fast as this one. Um, that is cushy. Owner's stateroom. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it has it has big berths. I mean, you can put people here. There's some discussion in the, in the original design of even having a board on the back of these, so you could flop them up if you wanted to do that. Um, one of the one of the unique aspects of this boat that, that really no one else has, you know, on this size, is it is you can go from seven and a half feet to three Show foot us. keel. So, so I'm going to take out this line box. Um, and, and that's the top of the keel, so the middle bolts are what's holding the blade to the, to the piece of steel. Mm -hmm. and so you pull off these two end bolts, and then you take this line that runs through. If you think of this as a gantry, mm -hmm. where you have, there's a weld, welded aluminum piece up underneath there. And so that line is coming down here, through this stanchion, into the deck. There's a hydraulic piston in the deck, and then there's the electric part of it is up underneath the starboard. That is curve. really cool. So you connect it up and hit the button and on your three feet draft. It's not for sailing, it's just for going in and out right. of shallow anchorages. Or well boxes. that's a pretty big deal right now in a lot of places. I mean I know in the Great Lakes there's a lot of issues right now with the water dropping and people getting in and out of their harbor. I think a lot of, I think we've had the, the people that, that have come just to this boat to look at it. I mean some have done it because of, because it's a a performance boat, but there's a lot of people that say, I need this boat because of the draft issue. They, they, they can't get in and out of I actually didn't know that. I, I'm usually pretty well informed. I actually didn't know that that, that, that was the setup you guys yeah. had. Huh. And the keel looks like your basic blade with a bolt sure. with a torpedo. I mean that. You have a kelp cutter? Yes. That's, this is, that's here. 
Ooh. So, uh, wh whichever lucky cruise job it is to hang out down here and do that. <laughs> um, well, in this Chesapeake, it's not kelp, it's called crab pot. <laughs> and, and, and plastic bags. <laughs> yeah, no, I have too much trouble with that. Let so me please. ask you this. Um, uh, uh, is there any way you can show us the hydraulics for this, or is that going to be too involved? No, I'll show you. No, you stay right there. Nice. Just take a look. I think I'm going to show you. One of the things that they're doing is giving us a little loop on these things so we can pull them up. Yeah. So, done. folks, so, so uh, what Robert said was that this um, this Kevlar here, or this am steel, whatever it is, goes up through that. here <laughs> and turns around the compression post. And, in fact, you can see it right. Can you see it? Right there. And comes down here. Runs through here to a three-to-one purchase, and that's got a big hydraulic ram. Yeah. And that is brilliant. What a clever bit of engineering. Now, who designed that? This is all designed by Tim Kernan oh. down in uh, Southern California. Yeah, we, we've, been, a, we've been a, a big fan of Tim's work for a long time. So he, that he, is excellent. Wow. I love it. Yeah, the guy's interesting. He, there's nothing on this boat that hasn't been thought through. And if you ask him, he'll tell you why exactly why he did what he did. All right. Well, Robert, thank you for the tour. We really appreciate it. We appreciate Santa Cruz's Yacht Support of Sailing Anarchy. And we will get this up on the web for everyone to check it out. Okay. Cheers, Great. man.